Okay guys, this morning what I'm doing is I'm just checking the amount of ground noise I have. I'm using the 8x6 Sadie because it's really sensitive. And I've got my gain on 8, pulse to, uh, ground balance 10, pulse delay 10, threshold loud enough you can hear it. I'm in all and I got the frequency centered and all I care about here is how much ground noise I have I've tried to clear the targets out of this so I'm hoping you can hear that L little bit of chatter I could get rid of some of that ghosting by turning the gain down slightly, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that second reg sniff mod, and I wanted to get a baseline and see after it's done if it increases the ground noise. So you can see I've got a little ghosting there. I get a little ghost signal every once in a while. But if I turn the gain down to seven, you notice a lot of that goes away. I've got a little bit, but not bad. That amount of noise doesn't bother me at all. I know the difference between ground noise and targets. If I swing over here, I can find a target. There's a target right there. Probably an aluminum nail or rivet. But I get over here where I've cleared it, and we don't have any of that. So that's the ground noise. Talk to you later. Okay, guys, I got the mod done. Remove D20, D21, jumper D21 and remove C56. So here we are again checking the ground noise. To get a comparison of where we were earlier today before the mod. I've got the gain at 8. All the other settings the same. I might have a little bit, maybe just slightly more ground noise after doing that modification. I'm going to turn the gain down to 7 and see what that does. There's 7. And even that might be a little hot for this soil with this coil. But that's not bad. I don't, that amount of ghosting doesn't bother me much. You get over here, we got a target. And You can definitely tell. You can tell a target from those puny little ghost signals. So 
So that mod didn't really negatively affect the ground noise much at all. See you later. Okay. So here's the... Oops. Hang on a minute. I'm not in autofocus. Here's the one grain gold bar again. Same one we used before. Not gram. Grain. One grain. I've got the controls on the detector the same. Gain 8. Actually, I'm at gain 7. Let's turn it to gain 8. Ground balance 8. Pulse delay 10. Threshold loud enough to hear. Target conductivity in all and frequency in mid. Okay, here we go. Can't see that very well because I'm the way the darn sun is. There's about crappy video, crappy video. I'm going to turn that. threshold down a little bit. I think there's about I can hear that even on the speaker at about three and a quarter. I think that gained, I think that gained about a quarter to a half an inch and Yeah, I'm easily hearing that out to three and a quarter inches, so before it was like two and three quarters or so. So that definitely, that definitely picked up the sensitivity a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. All of this stuff is just incremental. And that puts this detector of mine about all you're going to get out of a TDI-SL. Both mods are done. I've got the 16 volt battery pack in it. That's just about the extent of it. I'll see you guys later.